we're up near Bendigo, just looking around, north of Melbourne, I suppose. And um, just the amount of water that's been, you know, flowing down these rivers or creeks. Um, we're parked next to one now, but obviously, you know, a few weeks, a month ago, the water, you know, was right up here. Um, you know, gates, gates and fences and trees, you know, branches and stuff caught up on, up in trees. I don't know if you can see that, but farmers' fences um, just covered in sticks and, you know, branches and stuff. I mean, the water was right up here. It's nuts. You know, half the fence. There's fences and wire wrapped around trees. It's, uh, it's an amazing amount of water that's come through here. Um, yeah, until you see it, it's hard to believe it. We should be okay. Unless it pisses down rain, but... had so much water until you see it it's, it's, it's crazy how much water I've had here how much rain they've had here we're just outside Ballarat um, at this lake and we're gonna go to the Ballarat race course horse racing today so we're going to go in there and have, make some bets but beautiful day yesterday and uh, a shit day again today so I don't know how we're going to go but there's some storm coming in so let's see how we go yeah it'd be a nice little spot here in summer it's a massive big lake Ball. Yeah, we're at the Ballarat race course. Throwing some bets down in the beautiful weather. Pushing down with rain. Look at lovely weather it is. <laughs> hey, won a few dollars, that's about it. Yeah, a couple of dollars. <laughs> that is atrocious out there. I don't know if you can see that. Geelong going into Geelong today because we've got to catch the boat to go to Taji tomorrow. But it's been horrendous. A place called Ford, a free camp, pretty nice. But Gale for the swings. Winds. A bit worried about driving the van actually. It's the morning of us jumping on the boat to go to Tassie. And uh, yeah, pulled up here last night. Only around the corner from the port in the industrial area. Grain bins are over there. And I think this was an 
old power station. Derelict. And um Six o'clock in the morning, so it's, it's chilly. So yeah, we're three minutes away from the port. Um, you're not supposed to camp here, obviously, but um, I'm surprised there's no one else. It's just us. So a good little spot. We've just gone through the quarantine area back there and uh, yeah, now we're just lined up uh, waiting to go on the boat so we're getting on the spirit of Tasmania six and a half weeks we've been waiting for this and we're finally getting on down in the depths we go Seatbelt on. <laughs> off we go, off we go. jammed in, not a lot of room between the vehicles. in Tassie. Just got off the boat last night and um, went about four minutes down the road to a boat ramp. Um, it was a free camp but um, they're sort of repairing it or doing some work to it. So yeah, boat ramp's just there. There's quite a few of us done the same thing. Yeah, so it looks like it's going to be a nice day, so we're going to get the bike off and drive a look around. <laughs> 